Oh, that's it. Well, hey, guys. This is Brad with Main Stage Music, and we are doing a cool um, product demonstration today. Now, we've actually had a pretty neat announcement happen about, I guess it's been a month or more ago now, and we've not done a product demo on it, and that is the addition of reverend guitars to our inventory now first of all we want to thank you guys so much for watching you are absolutely welcome to comment to share and so on if you're not already a fan of ours or whatever on youtube make sure you do that and because uh, they want to see more subscribers but that being said let's get back to what you guys are here to watch and that is this cool product line reverend guitars now first of all Everybody that's already a fan knows that Main Stage Music only carries the good stuff, okay? So we wouldn't carry a brand that stinks. <laughs> Reverend Guitars have been around for over 26 years. They came out in the late 90s, and they were designed in Detroit by a luthier named John Joe, excuse me, Joe Naylor, uh, who is an amplifier and a guitar technician. Um, his stuff was was immediately a hit. Um, I remember back in the late 90s when liking Kid Rock was cool. You know, Kid Rock was seen with a reverend guitar, and immediately everybody's like, what was that? And they were off to the races. Everybody wanted a reverend. And um, I'll tell you what, their quality is phenomenal. Even among the biggest uh, cork sniffers out there, they sit down and play one, and they're like, okay, this is actually really cool. Because... Let's face it, not everything is just the same old stuff, right? I mean, we've Fender Stratocasters and Telecasters are great. Gibson Les Pauls are great. Those are all great, but they've been done. And so if you're looking for something that's going to challenge you in a different way, you need to look outside those um, boxes. And that's where Reverend comes into play. So um, now, of course, I, uh, we are the only authorized Reverend dealer in the state of Tennessee which was huge for us. I mean, we really thought, what a neat thing. I mean, um, and so we wanted to tell you guys a little bit about the guitars. Um, there's no way I could have brought all of our inventory down in the studio here to show you. So I just brought this one with me today. This one is the Rick Vito signature model. Now, for people who don't know who Rick Vito is, um, Rick Vito is the guy that everyone's heard and nobody... Uh, really knew his name. Um, he started back in the 1970s playing with Bonnie and Delaney Bramlett and a bunch of people that everyone's heard their stuff. But then later played, he actually played with Bob Seeger and his slide guitar playing was heard on the Like a Rock song that came out um, in the mid 80s. And so you heard everybody who started a Chevy commercial has heard that Like a Rock. And that was Rick Vito playing guitar on that track. Um, later, after he's already a pretty much achieved fame as that amazing studio and backer guy, he played with Fleetwood Mac after Lindsey Buckingham left the band. And um, so anyways, they honored Rick with his own signature model. He's still out there touring. He tours with everybody, Bonnie, Raitt, and everybody. But the uh, guy's very accomplished. So, But this is just one of many signature models that Reverend makes. Oh, hi, Rebecca. Um, anyway, so that being said... Um, what makes a Reverend guitar special? Well, other than being, you know, very independent and actually being one of those companies that makes a shape that's not just your normal stuff everybody's seen, uh, Reverend guitars use a very desirable tone wood called Carina wood. Uh, Carina, the first guitar I ever heard of that had used Carina wood was the famous Flying Vs and Explorers of the late 1950s that are worth all the money these days. Well, that uh, wood is from Africa. It's very lightweight, very stable, and the sound is incredible. And so these guitars, generally speaking, are very lightweight, um, you know, relatively speaking. I mean, it doesn't weigh like two pounds, but it's, it's very comfy. Um, a lot of these guitars are chambered. So that means that it's still a solid guitar, but they just cut out specific parts underneath uh, the hood there to make them very comfortable and resonant. Um, also, they like to blend the electronics a little bit. So what's neat about this guitar here is that you've got a humbucker in the bridge and then a P90 pickup in the neck. Now, um, Reverend also makes and patents their own pickups, okay? So uh, they invented a type of pickup they call the rail hammer, 
uh, which is half hot rail and then half oversized uh, magnet pickup. Real powerful, really unique um, uh, sound that you can only get on a Reverend guitar, which is really neat. Um, but they also make their own versions of the classic humbucker and P90, which just sound great. And then they have a neat um, active tone circuit, which isn't just another tone or volume knob. Um, all the parts on these are really good quality. So when you get a guitar, you can just fade it a little bit. And you can actually hear the fade. It's not like it's an on-off switch. And, uh, and so even if you have a crunchy um, you know, tone like I've got here, a little turn of the switch can get you crunch to really a nice... Nice sparkly, um, clean sound. That is in the bridge position. Let me flip it to the neck position. So pretty. This model also features a Bigsby uh, Vibrola system. Another neat feature of the uh, Reverend guitars is all of their bolt neck guitars. So this guitar, the neck is bolted to the body, as you can see there. Their bolt necks, well, first of all, neat little thing. I have six bolts, not four. Um, and the necks are made from roasted maple. Now you might think, wh what's roasted maple all about? Well, if you guys are a loyal follower of Main Stage, you'll maybe have seen the episode where we talked about torrified wood and what that hall meant. It basically means that there's a special process where they take the wood, put it in an oven, pull all the moisture out of it, and then just inject steam back in to give it the exact um, moisture content of what they want. Now, why? Because it makes the wood very rigid, very stable. It doesn't bend, and it works a lot easier to the woodworker so it cuts easier it's just more solid and this is a technique that's been used by boat builders for thousands of years so with guitar building it's relatively new and because it's an extra expense it's not it's only used on nicer guitars so um that's another thing all the reverend bolt neck guitars have roasted maple oh go ahead aaron what's your question Ooh, well, you know what, as I mentioned earlier, first of all, thanks for watching, is I only had inventory, well, time and inventory enough just to bring one guitar down and talk about it. But we are, of course, Reverend dealers, and, you know, their bases are absolutely amazing. I mean, they're killer. Um, but, no, I don't have a bass with me today. And uh, But I know you, if you played one, you'd love one. So... Um, okay, getting back to what we were talking about, this guitar here. Thanks for the questions. Keep them coming. Um, on the back of the headstock here, if you want to get a picture of this, you can see that they put the locking. Oh, here. There's a camera that's pointed at this. There you go. These are locking keys. Okay. So that's a nice little feature. All the serials are, you know, hand done. All the guitars are meticulously set up. I mean, they need nothing other than, you know, just a person to play them. So all the details on these guitars are just incredible. Um, oh, yeah. So you want to get a little... There you go. Um, so th their stuff, just the fit and finish is perfect. And the style and the tone and whatever. So the thing is, is that it's different, but not so different where people are like, ugh, that sounds terrible. Or that's another where people usually will buck something that they're not used to hearing. But the tone on these just sounds right at home. Like it's a guitar you've loved your whole life and so on. Um, Reverend, when we became a dealer, you know, they asked if we had a repair shop and all this stuff. And they said, the one requirement we ask is that when our guitars come in, do not let your setup guys touch them because our setups are perfect. And you know what? We've had a lot of these come in and they're right. I mean, these guitars need nothing you just pull them out tune them up and go and um, now one thing about this Rick Vito model I have to say I love this uh, rope binding by the way or checkerboard or whatever word you want to say it's a combination of the black and white and it just I don't know it's just subtle enough it looks so cool 
and stands out even on a black guitar like this. They're available in different colors, but um, now the reason I chose this one is because of the different pickups, and I just wanted to kind of showcase. So the first little song that we played was kind of a jazzy-ish uh, tone, and it worked really well for that, of course. But um, you know, but with this, you can take the clean sound. You get a nice. Sure. Yeah, it's awesome, isn't it, David? Thanks for commenting. And uh, welcome all you YouTube viewers. Um, but yeah, I mean, it really is a great look. But listen to that. That's a P90 pickup. I mean, it sounds very clear. Now, for people wondering what we're playing through, we're not playing through a guitar amplifier. We, we're going right into a modeling um, feature on our digital mixer. It's a Digitech modeling setup. And this is just an AC30 crunch tone. And um, so there's no added anything. This is nothing fancy. This is just a very... But you can, uh, you can hear really the detail of this. There's no hum or buzz. I can just very slightly roll up the volume. Which is very responsive. But for, th for all y'all who have spent a lot on your effects or amp rig, this guitar loves that. It just complements it with how responsive it is and get every nuanced setting. Let me flip back to, oh, go ahead. Oh, yeah, so we are all Henson fans around here. And Unknown did have a Reverend model. Let me tell you another thing that we really like about Reverend guitars. So I told them that, hey, if you guys ever see an Unknown Henson come in, I know that you guys canceled him with uh, some comments that he made. They said, we did not cancel him. His model was retired before the little controversy from some of his words that he said uh, were, were done. They said, we do not get involved in politics, which I'm like, thank you. It's about time. So uh, Reverend Guitar is about the instruments and the artists. And the only reason Unknown's model was retired, they told us, was because he said to them that he's retiring from touring. And Reverend Guitar's are all, all their signature models are from touring players. So if they don't tour, they don't uh, get to continue their model. I thought that was a really neat feature, by the way. These are real working guitar players. So if you're just a, a guy from yesteryear, you're not going to have a Reverend signature model, so far as the current management is concerned. Now, the, the, uh, the P90 sounds incredible, both, uh, you know, uh, turned up. That's a neck position, people. It's not a mud bucket at all. Now you flip it back for the, the uh, of course, the humbucker. Just a lot going on there. And of course, just barely back it off. Actually, go ahead and put that rock setting on there. And again, my son loves to surprise me with these little jam along tracks that he. So let's, let's hear what he's doing. Um, let's see what key he chooses. E! That needs neck pickup. Thank you. 
So yeah, really the Reverend guitars, they make such a wide variety of both bolt and set neck models. But again, the special stuff is it was 100% uh, conceptualized, started right here in, I guess you could say the Midwest, but we're in the Deep South. But still, started in Detroit. Now it's uh, headquartered in Ohio. Um, to keep the prices at a good place, the guitars are 100%, you know, let's say assembled and set up and everything in Ohio, but then they have the milling and stuff done in Korea. So again, the prices are all pretty affordable. This guitar here is like, 1200 bucks something like that so i mean it's less money than a lot of things in its same price range but it's impossibly cool and of course this is just one of many many models that reverend makes both guitars and basses they also um offer models like baritone guitars 12 string electric guitars a lot of neat stuff that a, a lot of vendors don't take chances on. So we love being fiercely independent ourselves of another company that shares our vision, makes the cool stuff, and so on. Their list of endorsing players is impressive. So obviously this is a Rick Vito model, but they also, if you guys are Dwight Yoakam fans, the Pete Anderson model, Pete is Dwight's player. Man, he's the man. And so Pete Anderson's a huge reverend uh, uh, player, but you also have Greg Koch, um, that guy. If you've not heard him, he's coming to Chattanooga. Um, dude, he is a mutant. And so if you can get tickets still from to Songbirds, you need to go. I think I'm going to have to go. There, it's such a great show. And of course, um, I mean, I couldn't possibly come up with all the names of these things. But what you really need to do is put your hands on one and tell me I'm crazy. Because honestly, we've not had a single person yet buy a reverend from us and then say, yeah, it's not very good. No. So, and actually we just sold one to another country music star. Our own friend Keith Harling came in just uh, last week and picked one up for himself. So, um, anyway, so. I want to thank you guys for watching. I want you to come down and check out Reverend Guitars. It's the only place in Tennessee that you can actually come and try one out, see one, and so on. And, um, and you, d you check these guitars out. So I think we're going to leave on that cool little um, introspective slow jam that we started off with. And, uh, but definitely check us out and check these guitars out. All right? Oh, it'll take a second. Okay. Well, in the meantime, how y'all doing? All right. <laughs>